all these traditions are dying and if you want them to you can still live digitalizing them is the best form so that every child knows i thought i will share my ppt with you all these are games graffiti which i discovered and from the great games graffiti you can just uh, have lot of you can say history evolved and these children over here can create these games and preserve them forever i have over here shishima i'll show you the games in india which are there waiting for you all and they are just outside your house and those who are in bangalore and all if you go to hampi there are over 300 games lying for you over there okay if you go to auranga bata there are more than that so these are games graffiti which i have discovered myself in unknown parts of deccan region and they are all over the country so when the site is abandoned you get to see a couple of games over here now this is elora now what we had done was there is shivan parvati playing over there sari pat what we did was we climbed on each top of each other and we discovered it was not sari pat or chopat they are playing but they were actually playing senet which is an egyptian game okay so that changes the entire you can say concept all together and everywhere that i got a habit of seeing so we think of them playing chopat but no they are playing an egyptian game over there so sculptures at elora are showing something different and that shows also over here egyptian you can say trade with india during that period yeah now i just wanted to take you to fatehpur sikri where you have got that actual pachisi being shown over there okay which was done by akbar now this is at karnatak sidla padi cave over here a prehistoric site and there we discovered another game over there now when you look at this game over here it is quite shocking because this game is similar to the kirkat in egypt i feel i've shown mehen over here this is also like tiger and goat in india here we are trying to measure it in badami it is a caves we found a couple of games here you all have taddu and tiger and goats at badami So you can see all these games have got you can say a beauty similar one which I found in Sri Lanka. Mankala is a uh, African game which went to you can say Brazil and came back over here to India. Now how do you why do you study Mankala over here when Africans you can say were brought as slaves to India. You know they started you can say playing on the you can say floors, abandoned caves and all they started playing over here Mankala which is called as Palangudi in South India, which is called as you can say Gaitsode in Maharashtra. So you'll find slaves and everybody playing these games around over there because they have nothing to do. And then this game was introduced to the cowherds, and then it went on. So you have all these you can say which are at least four, five hundred years old, right? Card for you all. And then make so this is Nine Men's Morris. Now when you look at Nine Men's Morris over here, you, it is called as Naukakri in Gujarat. It is called as Trick in Colombia. You will see how traditions have passed all the way. This is Morris game in Hampi, Karnataka, and again overlapping by another game. So when the Saint Mankala at Karle, I am just showing you various parts of India. I mean, I am talking about Deccan and South India only. Here is Chopat at Bhaja Cave. Here is you can say Mankala on the Asana Pedika at Bhaja Caves. Sola Kakadi over here in the upper cave over here, and they are all you can say seen. in different countries so the cultural exchange can be studied through them this is chopat at pataleshwar pune so when all the caves are abandoned you'll find these games over here this is senet over here for your pataleshwar and pandavleni chopat at pandavleni nasik so you can see the spread over here of various games like i would like to show you all that how tradition you can say goes all the way around then the alampur temples in telangana andhra pradesh here you have still more games the nine men's morris in alampur so you can see how it is spread around from where it has come to what then barkhan to baragutti at alampur caves so all the students they were thrilled and they started studying all the games of papa nasi at ter also we found you can see different types of your daddu playing play daddu is like a trading you can say kind of a game where you go by a ship from one place to the other generally very popular among muslims this is the natraj cave at mogularajpura Again, you all have Mankala right over there. Nine Men's Morris for you. A collage of games like Undavali Caves, Hyderabad Circle. This is Panchan Dhana, which I saw in Sri Lanka, and this is a living heritage because it continues in South India. So I want you all to revive those games digitally.